Welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision version 8. In this video, we'll be going over the new general features that have been added to Cabinet Vision. The first set of features that I want to go over are in the object tree, so I'm going to fast forward us into a job. The next thing we need to do is expand out the tools menu. Then finally, we can click on the object tree button. Now that the object tree is being shown, we can see our first new feature. The box, here at the top of the object tree, is a new path feature. It lists out the current selected path in the object tree. Selecting items in the object tree will change the text that appears. Now the nicest part of this feature is that you can select and copy the text that is displayed here. This can be really handy for users that create user created standards or UCSs. The next feature is in the parameter edit dialog. So let's edit the AY parameter to see this. Now, those of you who have used the Parameter Edit dialog before should notice the changes that have been made here. But in case you haven't, we've made adding equations to the parameter a simpler process. To add equations, all we have to do is select the Equation Radio button, as I just did, and then add the equations to the part, as has always been done. Moving back to the plan view, I want to go over the new automatic lighting feature that has been added to Cabinet Vision. To do that, we need to click on the 3D tab. The next thing we need to do is click on the Lights button. And here it is, the automatic lighting feature. What this feature does is create a series of lights, a minimum of three, to each room. As you add different items to the room, new lights will be added. To look at all of the different lights that are added, as well as the conditions as to when they are added, please take a moment to look at your help file. It will outline the full information about this feature. Another thing that I would like to point out is the ambient light feature. Starting with Cabinet Vision 8, you now have an ambient light that will give an even lighting over all surfaces. Now, there are a couple of new features that I didn't show off here as they are a little more abstract, but I will take a moment to tell you what they are. As always, you can look to the Cabinet Vision help file to get more detail on these new features. You can now add additional property definitions for custom cabinets, we have sped up the rendering process for PhotoVision. And finally, we have added part level access to solid drafter, standard, and advanced modules for more control over individual parts. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you want more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.